How you doing? How you doing? Um, so let's begin. Welcome everyone to the weekly rewards working group meeting uh, this February 23rd. Today I was hoping that we would be able to announce that we have the praise production server up and running, uh, but I can't. Uh, so hopefully next week. Uh, we or Grail has been working on the server, but he has not been available for the last few days. So we have that uh, progress has sort of halted. Um, but we uh, will get that online soon because I think what is um, we need to to scale, set a date for the first real quant. Basically, the system is ready. I think it's stable enough. We could, in theory, run the, the quantification on, on the test server we have now. It has been running stably for, is it three weeks now or something? So, uh, um, it of course, it would be nice to have the latest version running on, on the correct domain. But but if uh, if we don't get it up, up and running, because it's a, a bunch of additional issues of getting the production server up and running, like the... SSL certificates and the domains and backups and a lot of uh, stuff making it com real production worthy. But the test server also works fine, and we have hourly backups, so, so not not much much can uh, happen. Uh, so uh, let's look have a look at uh, the, the agenda. Uh, let's first take some 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 status updates. And uh, uh, yeah, we have some we have some actual work to do. But let's begin with the when it comes to uh, first uh, quant preparations. Let's begin with the uh, the uh, the updates. So uh, f uh, praise uh, f front end, and Nebs, if you would like to just share what you've been up to and what you're yeah. planning ahead. So I was working on front end and also back end. Uh, last week, I did set up uh, authentication on database in the Docker. And I was working on a settings page that was also work on a backend and frontend, but I need to finish that. And I just pushed and I think finished uh, changes that we did for API inputs. So we are validating and sanitizing inputs that we are getting from, from the user. So application is more secure that way. And I think that is it. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, the, the settings page update is about supporting more data types, not just plain text strings. So yeah. we'll have some better, you know, a, a, a Boolean will, will show a check mark instead of a true or false uh, input field and stuff like that. Um, but I'll, I'll pass it to to Matt. Would you like to share some some a few words? Sure. Yeah. Um, I. Um, uh... Uh, Christopher gave me a few tickets last week, and um, I started working on them, but I kept running into to blocking issues. So um, one was uh, like dependencies weren't it wasn't finding dependencies that were in another workspace. So I just um, uh, dove into that and um, upgraded to Yarn Two, um, which has a much better way to handle like multi workspace dependencies. It looks like um, so. Hopefully, uh, nobody has issues. With that, um, and then um, I believe I did one more PR for um, some little minor issue, and then um, I think yeah, I'll take on um, I can take on one of those uh, 
back-end uh, tickets for speeding up the quantification process this week, if that's still the priority. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely a, a priority. It's um, uh, one of the greatest flaws with the system right now is that assigning quantifiers to a, a quantification period that has a lot of praise takes a lot of time. It takes like 15, 20 seconds if you have two, 3,000 praise. And that is, uh, right. it's a one-time thing, but I still think it's uh, it's unworthy, <laughs> not acceptable. Right. Uh, right. And also when, when loading uh, praise periods that has a lot of uh, praise receivers, calculating the scores for all these uh, those praise takes a long time. And what, what uh, fucks it up is the, the duplicate praise. Because uh, the duplicate praise, uh, if you mark a praise as a duplicate, you need to fetch that duplicate praise and get the score from that praise in order to calculate. Uh, because we want to give the original praise a, we want to give the the duplicate praise a, a percentage of the original one. Okay, so we got a advanced Mongo query. We might need to. Add yes. some indexes or something. Okay. Yeah, I, I am my I I've reached the end of my my competence <laughs> when it comes to Mongo querying. <laughs> so I, I have okay. I was unable to do it in one query. So I started doing just the, the TypeScript loops and and you know thousands of queries okay. instead. So of course that yeah. takes time. I've crafted a few of those, so I can take a take a crack at it. Yeah, and I also like if you would like to. Or, or if we can just talk a minute about yarn two yeah, about the should what should we check in should we check in the the whole yarn dot yarn folder and also the cache folder and right. then also we are not using the 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 plug and play features of yarn two are we right right yeah we're not using the plug and play um, we're just using the um, uh, it's called like no install or something and basically it just it actually includes like the dependencies themselves in the it has you check them into the repo which is kind of like not what we're used to uh, but i was reading through the rationale I'm, I'm new to yarn 2 as well so i was reading the rationale and they basically said like it just makes it like you don't have to run yarn install every time you like switch a branch so that kind of makes sense but it, it'll make the repo quite a bit bigger and then the one other concern is that uh, you need to make sure that nobody like maliciously checks in a dependency that's like you know a, a fake dependency um, so I would just make make sure on any PRs that if there's any uh, dependencies checked in that you're very sure of them. The other option is we could just change the settings to not include uh, all the dependencies. Um, that works fine too with Yarn2. You just change a config and then um, and then you just have to run Yarn install like we're used to. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'm not really I, sure. I don't have a lot of experience with it. No, I'd like to read up a bit, little bit more about the, the the benefits of having the the dependencies checked in because it to me it seems uh, like a good way to ensure that everyone runs the same environment. I I don't know if that is uh, something that you can achieve by doing that, um, but it's sort yeah, of yeah, it definitely makes that simpler. That. Yeah. And I also remember that the thing that I wasn't wasn't un, wasn't able to get up and running was the plug and play thing, um, and that's why I reverted back to Yarn One when I tried to get it up before. Um, right. Yeah, I didn't really even take a stab at it. I just like got it working. It was like, all right, I'm moving on. <laughs> yeah. No. No. It's so. No. It was a great uh, deep dive, and uh, I'm happy, happy you did it. So. Um, Phrase front and back and uh, do I have to say something more about stuff uh, that I've been doing? Yeah, I, I've sort of concluded that this big, this big refactor that I've been doing for a little above two two weeks, and um, yeah, now, now it's done. And I hope that the performance issues would be be resolved by moving a lot of the. Uh, computational logic from the front end. It, it was in used to be in recoil in the front end, and uh, moved that to the back end. But uh, it's still a slow performance. Uh, yeah, but at least the, the the refactor is mostly concluded, and the code base is in much much better shape than a few weeks ago. So let's move on to uh, next issue. 
or in the next topic, uh, first quant preparations and execution. And Mitch and Livy are not here. Let's see if I can. Can I invite them? Or is that just at the start of the meeting? Oh, they are not here. Quick question. What is the situation on the on the test quants? Did we get uh, a review day there already, or and did I miss it, or or is it still something that has to happen? We we had a, a review. Um, uh, Septimus arranged for for a review, so we have a document with a fair bunch of comments. So it was really a, a good, helpful conversation. And uh, I think also I've been asking. You know, we have an open quantification now, uh, which was which, which is the third test quantification. And I have asked those who have not finished their quantifications to do that, so that we can end up with a um, a finished uh, a, yeah a complete data set that we can export and and hand over to you for the RAD dashboard. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was asking because I would like to kind of test it before we do the first real quant to see if there's something missing. Okay, that's great. And I, I have a sense that we will be one person short of, of having a complete data set because I'm, I'm not getting uh, getting any, any response from one person, but but maybe that is okay. It's still everything except for, for, for one one person. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh, yeah, we need to set a date for for first quant. And but if Mitch and Livy is are, are are not here, I'm sort of a bit reluctant to go and uh, propose something because Mitch is the one who does the heavy lifting when it comes to cat herding all all the quantifiers to actually appear on the first quantification date. But my hope. Hopes are that, that we can uh, do the first quantification, not uh, the coming Monday, but the Monday be after that. Uh, so in a little about yeah, one and a half weeks, something. Um, because I think it's time. And, and for every week that passes, the, 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 the work of uh, the, the backlog becomes uh, longer and longer. Uh, bigger. Um, but we have, we have work to do before that. And uh, it's not glamorous work, but it needs to be done. And that is, uh, um, we need to identify some missing Discord IDs. And and, and I would like to uh, uh, tap into the collective intelligence um, here, <laughs> possibly, and uh, get help with that. Uh, and I made a a spreadsheet. So this is these are the the uh, a bunch of IDs that appeared when. Uh, Grail made a script that converts the, the the data we have in the Google spreadsheet into a C, into a JSON format, and then I made an import script that that is supposedly is going to uh, import the data into the Praise database, and that script identifies uh, um, empty empty accounts, empty account IDs, empty Discord IDs, and this is the list of um, empty. Uh, accounts with no uh, Discord IDs uh, for the whole period that we are going to work our way through. And, and the first, uh, the, the oldest praise that we will quantify is the uh, 12th of uh, July last year. So the, the data set I have exported is uh, to begin with from July 12th to uh, December 31st. And, and luckily, there aren't that many. There are uh, 153 accounts that uh, the script could not find the the Discord ID for, and and the reason for that is because the 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 user has a changed username uh, since uh, July 12th, uh, and um, in the old Praise Discord uh, in the. The praise spreadsheet. We only store uh, usernames. So if the user has changed username, it's difficult to find uh, to find the, the Discord ID. So we will have to do it manually. Uh, 
I can help with that. I had the same issue with the praise audit, and I kind of already matched some some of those names. So I can definitely take a take a look at that and help. Great. Do we have some some other volunteers? It's a, basically it's a, it's an this spreadsheet and and the the way to do it is you just right click uh, it, when you locate the person on on uh, Discord you you right click on the person and copy their ID and input it into the uh, this uh, the sec the third column and next to the username you can if you will also find the avatar ID that that takes a little bit more work but, but that that is not necessary the avatar will update next time they log into the pray system so it's the Discord ID that's the vital. Uh, ID. Um, um, yeah, I can help with that too. Nice. You want to just post post the uh, URL? Yeah, I'll make the uh, the document open to everyone, and I'll post the the uh, the link. And it's uh, first come, first <laughs> served. Uh, anyone can can contribute. Um, yeah, um, Livy, welcome. We, 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 we skipped the, the topic of setting a date for the first quantification because you, neither you or uh, Mitch was here, but maybe, um, we can bring it up again just shortly. Hello. Yes. We're here on the hacking on the, on the retreat house. Griff is here, yay. <laughs> um, is there an idea for a date that you were thinking about? I'm thinking not on Monday, but the Monday after that. Because now we, we have we have all the praise data. Uh, we, we have, you know, once we clean up and find these missing Discord IDs, we can import the data into the system. The system is running. Uh, it's, it has been running stably for, for a few weeks. So there's basically nothing holding us back, uh, except you know all the other stuff like finding a whole bunch of enthusiastic quantifiers, <laughs> etc. <laughs> wow, great news! Yeah, that's cool. I think also, so on the third of March, we'll have an event from the Reward System Research. Uh, we'll have a presentation to the TC. And I think a lot of the people there could be interested to participate in the work we're doing. And like, since that is ending, they will they will have some hours that they could probably help us with. Mm -hmm. So it could be good that we use that momentum. Is that in line with the date you were thinking next? Yeah, Monday? so the, the, that that would be next uh, uh, Thursday, and uh, and my plan was to get this started the the Monday after that's so a Monday the seventh. So oh, maybe, that's maybe perfect. Maybe that that if it's perfect, then. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. So I'll I'll, I'll set that as um, a target date Monday, um, March seven. That is a, a, a huge uh, step if we can can do that, and and I think that will be one month worth of praise. I don't think we should attempt to do any any more because I don't. My gut sense is that we won't, you know, we won't have a, a fifty enthusiastic uh, quantifiers doing the job. Yeah, so. yeah, I think we can see how many people show up for that one and use maybe talk to edu coordinate with communities people that are joining that can also jump in mm -hmm. and have like one onboarding call for new people after that first quant yeah uh yeah and I, maybe let's bring up that that when it comes to edu uh, he, he also um if we are finished with the, the, that, that planning, uh, we can move on to something he brought up. We had a one-on-one -on -one day talking about uh, communitas and, and the need for praise education. Uh, I ho hope that he was going to be here to talk about it himself. But uh, So basically, I don't have much to, to say other than that he 
highlighted so, sort of brought to my attention that there most likely is a need to do uh, not quantification education but education about praise in general what's the purpose how do you do a good praise bad praise blah 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 uh, so, so let's um, uh, Libby, do you have any any ideas how how to move that forward? How how the, where that should happen? If that should happen within this working group or within communitas? I think within communitas, I can, I will message him now and I can coordinate um, one of us or um, as many of us as we want. We can jump in there and talk about the system that we have, how it's working, what is praise, how to praise and and maybe create a little like one two three step that we can have in that orientation call that it's always shared when people join also yeah that would be good is there like a periodic uh, um, call for for new new members or is it a, a recording only there is a, a yeah a weekly call every i think it's every wednesday actually I think it was it happened already today. Yeah, so maybe that would be an idea that someone out of the rewards working group on on a regular basis, you know, just attends that working group uh, or attends that meeting and, and to answer any questions about praise and, and do a whole like a five minute um, ed praise education. Sounds what, great. what is the what is that um, meeting called? It's the call orientation call. Yeah, the, the orientation TC orientation call. Hmm. Um. Yeah, uh, and if we move on to my last topic for today is about source cred, uh, and both about the, I've sort of grouped them together a bit more now. Uh, so both the the bot and the params we need to talk about when when it comes to the mm -hmm. bot uh, the params. I think uh, we need just need to schedule a new session to finish the work we started by with setting the the params. Um, yeah, Matteo, how, how, how does that sound? Sorry. Go ahead, Livy. No, I was just gonna say that. Um, ask if we had someone from SourceCred that could join us in that call, because I think that was our main blocker last time to like not understand some parameters. And then if we could lock that time with someone and have them walk us through everything. And I think that would be valuable for us to document also because we might use the reward system for other communities as well. So if we had just a run through. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I wanna con uh, contact again Sandpiper. Maybe he will be available. Uh, I will try to ask him today or some uh, sometime. And let's try to do it next week maybe. What do you think? Uh, if he's available, anyway. But I will try to, to make it happen next week. I got the impression that NT, that you were quite knowledgeable when it comes to source cred params as well. Was that a we, correct impression? Um. Yeah, more or less. Uh, I wasn't really involved in in. Uh, I guess on the technical side of source cred, uh, but um, we had plenty of this, plenty of discussions on one hype about um, um, changing some of, of the the parameters that um, impacted more the community. In I guess I guess I'd say that uh, my my experience with source cred is more on 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 how it affects the community instead of the technical side. Um, but yeah, um, maybe I can try to, uh, chat with someone at SourceCred as well and see if they can pop in, in next week. In, when is it? Uh, 
Yeah, that, that, that's. Uh, I think that sounds great, and and uh, ideally, you you and Matteo would sync up a, a little bit. Uh, you you two about about time and and uh, potential people from SourceKit that could join, and. Um, And then yeah. We'll do an, uh, yeah. A new session. Cool. And when it comes to the bot, uh, we still have work to do. And now has has left. Uh, he was in this meeting before. Uh, Mate, do you have any any news? It's sort of the the the, the process stalled again a little bit. There. I, I'm I'm not sure really sure what happened. Um, we were trying to figure out if it was actually working, and uh, from my side, it was a little bit hard. Uh, just to get to see if the Discord handle and all of those val value values were actually changing. I think HC was trying to check out uh, if the process on the GitHub action was uh, actually uh, going on. But since that moment, I think I, I don't know anymore. So it would have been amazing that he was here to, to answer, but I think that we can uh, talk to him later but yeah we were in the process of testing but in a moment there it was hard to um actually test because the uh, this the the instance wasn't actually getting in sync yeah I, i'm finding it a little bit difficult to see what i can do to <laughs> To to uh, to push this uh, forward, uh, except for for g getting into all, all the, the the gritty details myself, and I would like not to to ha have to do that because I um, the short short on time. So would you would you mind yeah, uh, reaching out to Has again and try to to put that ball in in motion again? And and if you need help from from YYV to to, to just get that help and. Yeah, and, uh, I will reach out with Hess and see what, what was the last stage of that and, and see what we can do. Because um, I, the, my feeling is that it's it's just the, the last, last, last step, <laughs> the, the last yeah. details to, to get it running. And uh, then we can just wipe this uh, topic off the, off the agenda for a while, at least until it crashes because of it being... A system that crashes. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Okay. Uh, nice. Do we have any other topics we need to uh, discuss or should discuss? We have uh, 30 minutes left, so we could do a whole param session if we like or uh, finish early. I wanted to add something about the praise education, um, uh, which, uh, which is about the documentation. Um, I've I've been looking at the handbook, and I don't think there's uh, like it's clear enough, or there's like enough information for you know for people to just look and read and you know how like what's praise, how to praise, how does praise get Quantified, what does quantifying mean, etc., etc., etc. I'm actually having a hard time figuring out those things myself. Yeah, I, you say you, you you are missing those things. Yeah, I, I I was trying to get that information from the handbook, and yeah, I, I would yeah, like to know, but it, it would also be nice if the information was uh, on the documentation. Mm -hmm. The handbook is outdated just because we are still touching on this process, but that's a really good point. There is a forum post about it. I'll, I'll send it to you. And also, if you have any questions now, feel free to ask. Thank you. Well, I, I, just, I, I think I just 
I would use, I just would like to know about the quantification, like how does it work, but what, what does it mean? Uh, I kind of guess what it does by the name, but I, I would like well explain. Yeah, so the, the praise process uh, collects subjective data. So everything we praise each other for, it's not something that a bot can just come in and transform that into a value. So that's the quantification process is many of us in the community looking at each one of those praises and then giving a value for it that will turn into TC tokens in the distribution. And then now, before we, we were using just the, the praise process and now we are um, combining it with source cred because there is a lot of things that were being praised that could be automated. For example, attending meetings or your engagement on Twitter, engagement on the forum, things like that. So we are taking all of these things out of the scope of the quantification because a bot can do that based on the parameters that will decide for source cred. So what is each thing valued, um, how it should be set. And, and then in the end, there's a combination of both those values from praise and for, from source cred that are distributed to people. It makes sense, thanks. But when it comes to documentation, I think Nate has offered to uh, lend a hand to writing uh, the document like general documentation. So I think I, I already told we will <laughs> accept <laughs> accept that hand and uh, and uh, happily let him uh, write about praise. And we have we have the the forum posts and etc. We have some some material to get him started. Um, So I agree, information about praise needs to find its way into the handbook uh, eventually. Uh, anything else before we wrap up? No? OK, uh, then I look forward to meeting you all on a param session next week and then doing the first quantification, hopefully on Monday after that. And uh, yeah, take care. See ya. See you. See you guys. See you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Christopher. Bye. Bye, everyone.